Hey everyone, today we're going to discuss an amazing option to back up your submergible pump with a power inverter plugged directly into your utility power. Uh, this way you'll have an automatic transfer switch built into the inverter and you can run off battery power when power is lost and it'll run off your utility power when power is available. It's a very simple setup. We're going to go through each step, all the different requirements that you'll need. We'll even discuss a little bit the size of the pumps and what type of inverter you would need based on that specific pump. First, we'll start with the pump itself. Uh, you're gonna wanna unplug it from the wall and you're gonna eventually need to plug it directly into the power inverter. Um, what we'll also need to do is we're gonna start with our 12 volt battery. Any 12 volt battery will work fine. We'll even discuss connecting multiple batteries later in the video. But for now, we're just gonna start with our one 12 volt battery. Then we have our power inverter, the one with integrated charger and transfer switch. So you'll connect the red and black cables, the positive and negative, to the battery, a very simple setup. Now on the back of the inverter, you'll have an AC CPU, where it's just gonna be a charging cord that you're gonna plug into the inverter, and then you're gonna plug that cord into your wall. Now the next step is gonna be connecting your sump pump into the inverter and turning it on. After these steps are all completed, that's pretty much it. It'll run all the time. Uh, you leave it turned on all the time so that when power is lost, it'll switch over to the battery power. When the, bat when the power of the utility comes back on, it'll charge up the batteries and then it'll go into a float mode. The inverter itself, the AC uh, outlets, they'll stay powered all the time, either running off the utility through flow through power or directly off the batteries. So as long as you have enough battery power for the length of the blackout, essentially you'll never lose power because then it'll switch back over when utility comes. So now we're going to take a look at connecting three batteries. You could connect as many as you actually need. I always recommend that the customer buys the inverter, takes it home, connects one battery, and unplugs from the wall. This way you're running off the batteries as if you already have a uh, power outage. Now you can check the time based on the drainages, how long you're going to have with one battery, and then you can add from there if you want to get a second or third or even six batteries. Whatever you feel comfortable with, you'll be able to connect that amount of batteries to your system. Uh, as far as the size of the power inverter that you'll need, uh, we usually recommend one third to a quarter horsepower. They're gonna be about the uh, 2000 watt, uh, which is in around the $350 range. You can see them all on powerinverters.com. If you have a third to a half horsepower, or maybe a little bit higher than a half horsepower, we definitely recommend going with the 3000. Anything above that, you're gonna be looking at the six, but just about any submergible pump will work with the 6000 watt unit. Um, if you have any questions as far as setting up, as far as how it's actually going to run, as far as running tests, feel free to contact us. Um, you could even check out our uh, guide that will show you the amount of power that's applied to the inverter versus the amount of time that it will run off each battery based on the size of that battery. Because every 12 volt battery is a little bit different in size. It's usually based on the amp hours. You could take a look on the power rating of the battery to know how large of a battery you have. Um, if you want to give us a call even to discuss which type of batteries you think we think you might need depending on the size of your pump, we could also discuss you know, how often you have outages to better you know, understand and get the proper setup because once the setup is done properly, it's pretty much left in place and you're pretty much all set to go. Uh, that's about it. So if you have any questions, visit us at powerinverters.com or give us a call. Thanks. Have a great day.